Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me okay? Just finished setting up. All right. Let us get this going. Hey, how you doing, Rebel Star? Oh, there we go. Yes, I am doing well. How are you today? I feel like it's been a while since we've been able to chat. That time zone in life, man. Just happening. Make sure. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Hello, Curry. Yep, today is the hype day. Today is the last day. Today, we will be assembling the cutie. Yep, today is the final day of Marochan. We have finished everything, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> if there's anything I miss, we'll find it out on these streams. Um, but we are ready to start assembling. That is all we're gonna do tonight. And I'm very excited. I have been holding off on showing all of the stuff and posting any pictures for two reasons. Um, one is because I am building this for my mom and she checks my some of my social media um, and my accounts that I post my stuff and so I wanted this to be a surprise for her. She doesn't check Twitch, she doesn't know how to use Twitch and so um, this will be a surprise for her. I don't even know if I'm gonna tell her about it. I think I'll just say I have a surprise for you coming in the mail and then um, end up mailing this to her. She loves birds of all kinds and she has a bird collection. And so that's the, the point of doing this as well, um, as well as the whole dollhouse thing. She's supposed to fit in this dollhouse. So I don't know if we'll be able to show that on this camera, but we'll try once we get her built. Um, the other reason is because I'm posting my commission updates and I like to kind of keep things like in order and so I want to be sure to post all of those first and then we can go ahead and post Miro Chan and that'll give me some uh, incentive to continue posting and also it's like early access for you guys to be able to see everything so um, just I guess we can get started I'm like trying to figure out how to phrase it um, but I did finish the face and so might as well just show the face off because I haven't shown anything I think the last time um, we showed it, she was a couple layers behind. So this was the, you know, image that we were supposed to be basing it off of, as well as this one and her face. And these are the decals. So I'll show these side by side. Here is her final face. There we go. What a cutie. Oh my God. She's so cute. And so you can see that it's very, it's pretty similar to the artwork in terms of the color. Um, I did a, a few slight adjustments in terms of placement and stuff, mostly because this is a an artistic interpretation um, of, you know, this, this thing, <laughs> this photo, I guess. Thank you, yeah, I think she came out really cute. Um, I'm very partial to the little lines that are inside of the blush, so that was a really cute touch that the artist added on this illustration. And then I also really like um, this top layer here. So she's got this kind of three layer gradient going on. And um, the top layer here is actually airbrushed on. Sorry, I'm like looking at it. Um, it's actually airbrushed on. So you can see there's kind of some layering going on that's very similar to here where it has this kind of layer going over the eye. And so that's something that's really only achievable with an airbrush. Thank you, Rebel Star. It's very kind. <laughs> I'm very happy with how this came out. I think she looks really cute. Just absolutely adorable. I was like, oh my God, why do I gotta get rid of her? She is so sweet. Um, I just felt like this figure and Whoopie Pie's figures are, it's a style that I am already very familiar with and very good at painting. And so I was really excited to see this come to life. So, um, when we put the hair on and stuff, it'll be even crazier. Um, I put the front of her hair on and it just, it's so cute. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the recap on that, I guess. Um, so we're just going to start assembling. It'll be kind of a step-by-step -step process, I think, because there's certain things that I want to start gluing, um, you know, before I do other assembly steps. And so 
there'll be some slight downtime, you know, because the glue has to dry as well. Um, but that's fine. We can just hang out and, you know, be excited that she's coming together because this is it. I am just clapping for myself. It's been a long time coming. This will be, I think, stream number 27 or 28. And so multiply that by two and then add on a couple hours for the eye painting. And that's about how much time it took. Probably around like 60 hours. So fun times. All right. So I had um, some thoughts about how we'll go about this. And I think um, the first thing that we're going to do is glue some of her sleeve pieces together and we'll be able to do a couple of these at the same time. So we'll glue some of the sleeve pieces together. Uh, I'm planning to glue probably the back of, of her hair together and then kind of go from there. It'll all depend. Um, there's a couple pieces that um, you have to get glued first before you fit other pieces into it. And so I'm just kind of going to play it by ear and we'll see what happens. I also have this base here. This is not a final base. This is just a wooden, um, you know, just a wooden base. And um, I'm putting it here temporarily so she has somewhere to stand and also so it can kind of roughly position her. Um, and so she doesn't just like topple over or have nowhere to um, kind of sit. So. so that's not the final one. I'll probably just use an acrylic base or something. Um, to put her in there. She also comes with that little Sakura petal base, but again, that one is not enough, so it will need some additional support. So right now I'm just putting down a bunch of two-part epoxy glue. This is the Bob Smith brand, I believe. It, I've This bottle has seen better days. Um, I've had this forever. Yeah, Bob Smith Industries. This is a five-minute epoxy. And so it essentially um, dries and hardens in five minutes, which is why I like it. You get some, some time where you can position things, but then after that it dries pretty solid. So basically you just wanna mix the, each piece together. It's a two part process. And then we'll put it on the pieces that we are going to glue. And this is also a lot of glue, so we're not gonna use all of this right away. All right, so let's take off her sleeves first because these are um, pieces that I wanted to get started first. And probably also, let me grab another paper towel. Oops. So everything here has also been top coated. So this is the final finish that you'll see. Um, you know, this is how the color ended up. If I can get it to, there we go. So this is how the color ended up. You can see the shadings are, um, you know, they're there for sure. I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> they're, they're just there. Okay, so we're going to glue the frills and I think we can also do the oranges at the same time. Let's do the oranges first actually, because these are a small piece. Sleeveless, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not for long. This is about as non lewd of a kit as it gets. How you doing, monkey? Good to see ya. All right. So let's do this one first. Thankfully, each of these has um, that little indicator that I've talked about multiple times before. So this is the heart one. What we can just do is just kind of Push it right in there. This is magnetized already, so pretty easy. Just gonna push it in as far as it will go. Hopefully there's no mishaps. There is a slight barrier of paint between these, and so I might have to push down a little bit for some, but I might have put too much glue for sure. I'm not going to need very much. Let's see. This way, this way, this way. Can't really tell. This one's a square, so there we go. Okay. So there we go. That's this. Let me double check on this one. Yep, that's, that's probably as far in as it's going to go. All right, and so this one was a little interesting because I don't quite remember Okay, I think this one goes in like that. 
and then this one goes in here. Yep, just like that. So this is her sleeve. So let's put some glue on this side, the white side. And you don't need a lot. This one, this kit in particular, seems pretty easy to glue. There's not too much going on here. And there's not as much of a concern about glue seepage on these parts, so we can also be a little generous. But I'm still not gonna put too much glue down. All right. Okay, and again, just magnets should just fit in. might hold some of these pieces though at least these frills so i can make sure that they stick in and finish um basically just make sure that they fit the way i want them to when they're drawn so we might actually take this just a bit slow but that's fine we got plenty of time tonight and this glue is already starting to get um a little tacky you can see as i lift it Also, I have some little Q-tips here just in case, so I can wipe off any extra. Oops. Double check that. So all of these pieces um, that I am showing off right now have been sealed with almost a semi-gloss. So you can see that they have a little, just a slight bit of shine to them, but it's not totally flat. And I decided um, I wanted to do that just because I wanted to retain some of that color. And so in short, um, the flatter you make your piece, the kind of more doled out the color gets. Um, and so if you want a totally matte finish, your color isn't gonna be quite as vibrant. And so I used to put on, um, to make my pieces almost completely matte, but these days I kind of shift it up a little bit and I make some pieces more matte, some more glossy. Obviously the eyes are gonna be more glossy um, because you want that nice shiny finish and that's something that, um, you know, makes them look a little more lifelike. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, kind of varies on the finish you're trying to get. Like glossy body suits and stuff, obviously those are gonna be shinier than something like this. Um, and I used, to seal these, I basically just used um, GX114, complete DRG, not happening. This is the finale. <laughs> I've been wanting to get this built since like last week, so. Thank you for the offer, um, but it's not gonna happen. But yeah, so this is GX114. Um, this is Mr. Color GX. It is a super smooth clear, as opposed to their GX113, which is just Mr. Color UV cut um, matte color. And so this one is recommended. It, it seems to go on a little bit smoother and flatter than other ones, but honestly, I haven't noticed too much of a difference. And then for the glossy pieces, I typically go with, let's see, Mr. Color UV Cut GX 112. And so this is the gloss version, um, kind of a 114, but it has apparently UV repelling properties. And so um, your kit is less likely to yellow, supposedly. I've never had any yellowing of my kits in any form at all but it's just something that they do market, um, so be aware that it exists. Also, there's a little bit of glue here. I'm gonna try to wipe that off. Glad I noticed that when I did. I didn't think there was enough for seepage. It's kind of weird. Okay, I might have to smooth that out later. Actually, let me see if I can just... Uh, do I have it? Should be able to just polish it down. This piece is okay. It's weird. Where's my polisher? I got so caught up talking about things. Okay. Let's see if I can very careful. 
fully sand that down. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's starting to get a little fussy. Okay, I'll work with that later. But for now, actually it bothers me. Never mind. Let's see. I think I have a solution. Okay. Oh, that's dirty. Glue seepage solutions. Let's see. Hmm. Yep, there we go. So what I'm doing right now is being very careful and I'm just wiping down that glue seepage that's not fully cured with some mineral oil and because it's oily it's just going to take off that glue right away. It's almost like using um, WD-40 or something on like the gluey stains. It's very good at removing that. So there we go. Okay, so that's that. And so it looks like these pieces are pretty good. So let's move on to another piece. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, let's see, probably, can probably glue the front and back of this together, but it might be better if I glue her face together first. So maybe I'll put these pieces here. Okay. So let's glue the back of her head to her face. So here's the back of the head. Pretty straightforward. Came out a really nice shiny green. She's got this nice vibrant green hair. Her hair sometimes I go full matte but this time um, I did a kind of a semi gloss as well. All right. I need a little more glue. And I'm just using cardboard that I cut a while back. You don't need anything um, crazy or... <laughs> yeah, she's got a weird back of her head. She's got a cute head though when it's all assembled. Because it's magnets, it's very easy to test fit and I've been doing that when it was all glossy and everything's good, so. All right, so let's just put a good bunch of glue in here. This should be the enough of an access point, so we shouldn't need to add anything else. I'm gonna move that, there we go. Yep, here she comes again. So here's her face. Yay, so cute. Love it. And it should just snap right in the back. Yep, like so. Sorry if that was off camera, but that's it. Let's see, you normally need clamps or something if there are no magnets. Yes, so here's my clamp. I had this one attached like this. Um, otherwise, I have little magnet backs like this. And so I just stick the pieces to the magnets. But this is all during final assembly, so you can like put these on your shelf or wherever. It doesn't necessarily have to be on your workbench. Ain't that cute? I think, I guess I could probably do the front as well. I think, yeah, I'll need to mix some more. Maybe. No, let's see. I don't think I'll need to mix more glue. Yeah, let's do the front and the back head. This one, I think I need my pliers out though. Sometimes I put a magnet and a, a wire um, just because a small magnet is not enough. And so, whoops. Okay, why? Why camera? There we go. So you can see there's a hole here and there's also the magnet. And so um, I use either or depending on what I need to do. Yeah, I think Mero is fine if we put her front head on, but I'm gonna get more glue just in case. She also has those little hair bow pieces that need to go on there as well. But that should, yeah, we'll, hmm. Let's do that first actually. Cause I don't want to put the hair on and have things be different. There is not really a particular order we need to do any of this in. It's just 
whatever I feel like doing. Can zoom in a little more. Mixing my glue over here. Okay, and so the, the little hair buns are interesting. Got both of them on here. Each of them have their own like number or letter. So there's L and R. And then correspondingly, you have her little hair piece that goes with it. And so let us this and this. These ones are, might give a bit of trouble though because we have paint on them already. So let's see. So I'm just probably gonna put a tiny bit of glue on this side. Yep, like that. Do these one by one, I think. Okay, we're gonna push down kind of as hard as I can to get that as close as possible. And I'm also gonna do that on her head because there was a little bit of a um, gap that I saw when I did that before. Okay, I guess we'll do this side first. Okay, don't need too much. And magnets like that again this should just fit in at this point there should be no issues with fit considering we've done all of that prep and the trial to get there yep that looks good so but so far just looks funny without her hair she has this big five head all right Probably have enough glue time to do the other. Yep, we have enough time to do the other one too. Okay, same deal. I'm gonna put just a little bit. Around here. And this one is an R. So this was the R side. Fits in like that. Get it like that. And press press in. This one I'm going to press down on the paper towel. I've got some glue on my finger too. Let me get that off real quick. I can also just temporarily put my glove on. Don't need that anymore. Okay. All right. definitely going to be, oops, try not to touch her face, but I am going to be pushing down on this piece because this one gave me trouble last time. Okay. Kind of hard to like figure out. Oh God, there's also glue on that. Glue gets on this very easy, so. It's like a tiny bit of glue there too. But we have some wiggle room. Thanks to the five minute cure for dry. Okay. Just try, really try and make sure that I don't touch her face too much. Okay, it's probably about as good as we're gonna get given the fit of this. Okay, so that's that. And then we'll put on her face, which this glue will probably work, but I'm gonna pull some new one. Oops. So you can see it's starting to get pretty tacky and that's when it starts to get kind of hard to apply. So I tend not to use um, 
the glue when it's around, that kind of stickiness. All right. This is gonna go way quicker than I thought. This might be a, a really short stream. I didn't realize how, um, <laughs> how quickly she's coming together. But that's fine. So let's do her front of her head. Okay, and what would be the best way to go about this? Probably putting it so we have a little bit of room that we can use. We can put it down here and kind of along the ed top edge of her head because we're not going to see any of this. If we did, that'd be a problem. Thank you, Rebel Star. Yeah, I think she looks so cute. It's going to be, she's going to come together real quick once we get that body on and then be amazed. Okay, that's probably good. Could potentially also put some on the side, but mm, I'll put a little bit. You just don't want to put too much that it all seeps out, so that should be fine. All right, this one was a little bit hard to get on it sometimes, so let's see if I can do it correctly. There we go. All right. There's her head, Mero's head, yay. So cute, I'm getting glue everywhere though, so I'm gonna put this away. Just went through like a whole other glove. Making sure I don't put glue on too much. Let's see. Also, um, it's supposed to thunderstorm here tonight, so just kind of FYI if you hear some sort of noise in the back. I don't know if you guys just heard that, but it's starting to kind of thunder. Oh my gosh, look at that cute face. Wow. This is actually the first time that I've put um, all of her hair together on it because, um, oh, what's going on there? I didn't really want to mess around with uh, potentially damaging the paint or anything like that, so. Oh, there's some funkiness going on here. It's glue. Okay. Oh my god. Glue mishaps. Let's see if I can salvage this. Usually I'm not this uh, messy with my glue application. Should be fine though. don't get on her face that's fine and it's not totally dry yet so can usually wipe this stuff off if it's an epoxy if you're dealing with a um, super glue like a sio um, I can't think of it at the moment it's late if you're dealing with super glue you won't have this kind of wiggle room to just kind of wipe the glue off if you make a mistake so that's also why I recommend using something like a five minute. Okay, there we go. All right, so, should be good. She also has a little bird that um, sits on her, but we'll put that on later. Did I really get glue down here too? Wow, I might have. I might have been really messy this time. Thanks, yeah, I did, okay. I wasn't looking at all. Okay. There we go. So again, if you have a glue mishap and it's not fully cured, um, what you can do, 
if you're working with a five minute epoxy is just apply some mineral oil and it should give you enough um, I don't know the right word for it it allows you to wipe it off without affecting the paint layer this is not any sort of like deep oops that wiped off a little bit of paint so I'll have to correct that um, it's not any like super deep knowledge it's just something that I learned after working with chemicals so also I wiped off a tiny bit of her because I didn't. Oh, do I not have it anymore? Might have to just make a small repair later. Thought this was enough though. Um, okay, so let's see if I can just do this really quick. We got plenty of time tonight anyway. So she has this little mark on her head that wiped off just now. But that's why you keep your paint cups, in case you have something like this happen. The question is, was this the right color? I don't remember. Okay, let's see. Maybe not, need a little more. Things always happen even when you're assembling there's been times where I'm assembling and then things have just gone horribly wrong and I ended up needing to repaint some stuff so it's a little dark okay and now there's that on it too okay maybe I'll do this later don't want to mess things up more Yeah, okay. I think I'll just go ahead and do this later. When we have her more. Actually, maybe now would be the best time. Oh, actually that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that worked. Okay, never mind. That pretty much solves that. It's a little bit rough, but that's fine. Okay, so there's Mero's head. Looks okay. Maybe a mark here or two there, but that's fine. I'm gonna set this aside before I get more glue everywhere. And it seems like it's weird that that glue kind of got on it, but okay. All right, so putting some of these magnets away. She doesn't have too many more parts. She's got the main bulk of it and then some little parts like her base and that will come at the end, which I'll put here. All right, so I think the next thing I wanted to do, let's get this out, was glue the two parts of her body together um, because we have her legs and then we have her sleeves, her main body, and then the head, which will fit into it. But we need, excuse me, sorry, the main body first. And gluing, we're gonna glue her leg, she has two like leg pieces. She has one kind of sticking out and then one main body torso. All of that is going to, like the side leg is going to be glued later because the position of that depends on the skirt, if that makes sense. It'll make sense shortly. Okay. So what we'll do now is glue the front and back part of her torso together, the main part. And this one will probably have to wait a little bit after because everything else is reliant on having these pieces be pretty dry. So maybe I should have done this first, but whatever. Okay. But it doesn't need too much glue. So just about, about that much is probably fine. Can maybe put a little bit more, but don't want too much seepage. And again, it should just fit. This piece is going to be used for her torso, so that's okay if it's in there. It should just fit like this. So it is a little weird. Um, I didn't really understand why Whoopie Pie did this, and everyone's, oops, there it goes. 
everyone's builds seem to vary, like having it either the front and the back be the same color, or maybe the um, front like is a different color, I don't know. It's just how the artwork did it. You can kind of see it in this image too. So the front is one color. <laughs> Excuse me. The back is a different color. So we're just following what Whoopi did. Okay. So it does look kind of funny from the side though. And I guess I don't didn't really top coat that. That's fine. But yeah, I think these pieces ended up really nice. I really like the shadings, how they came out. And I really like how the skirt shadings came out too. So the skirt. Skirt ended up being super smooth. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So this was originally two pieces and now it is one. And it came out really nice. So a little tiny bit darker than the rest of the colors, but I don't think that will matter too much. And also we won't be seeing too much of it, so. Okay, so let me put some of these pieces up here, I guess, so you can see what we are currently, where we are at. And then the base is its own thing, skirt's its own thing, leg, is its own thing like that I can probably start to take all these pieces off here's the other leg oops I actually can't see it that would be helpful kind of like that her little bird ended up really cute too let's see Looks kind of silly, kind of like, oh God, what's going on? But I love him. We'll leave the bird on the street, or on this, I guess. Why not? Okay. So we'll wait a little while till this, um, this piece here gets a little drier. And then, how should I go about this? I, I guess what I'll do first is assemble the skirt and the torso together because they're, they kind of need to be together in order to um, put the sleeves on properly. Very excited, very happy with how she came out. It's kind of like you never know what it will be like until it just comes together. So seeing this come to life like so is really it's pretty nice a lot less orange than i remember i feel like well maybe we didn't do that much orange but it just seems like there's a lot less than i remember on this kit even though i felt like i didn't mix a lot i guess i can put away some of this stuff i've had the um, marochan just kind of sitting here for a couple days and so um, there's been a lot of clips that I've needed and haven't had a chance to put away. So I'll do that now while we're waiting. One thing I do recall about this kit that some friends have told me is that she's a leaner and so essentially when she you know gets built and put on this base if you turn it sideways she just kind of like leans back and so that is something that we'll probably run into and I tried to account for that uh, when I made this rod but I don't know if that will help out and we might need to kind of bend it and position her in a certain way. But from here on out, the pieces are all pretty bulky. Oh yeah, there's also these two little pieces here, um, her kind of sleeves. So from here on out, it's kind of bulky, and so we'll have to um, 
kind of weight in between gluing each of these. This is pretty typical for gluing. If you've ever glued a kit, um, there's certain things that you just gotta like wait for before you glue a, another one, another piece together, etc. What I usually do is keep um, my little glue, cardboard glue next to me because then that way I know when it's fully dry, but I threw it away just now, so I don't remember. Yeah, if that was it, then that's fine. So yeah, I hope you've been doing okay, Rebel Star. I know that things were kind of rough for a little while, if I'm remembering correctly, so hopefully life is a little better. Check on me. Check on my stuff. All right, let's see where we're at. That feels pretty sturdy, so I think we can probably move on. more for demonstration. Okay. There we go. See, I wasn't having a great time. Oh, I'm glad that, I'm glad that things are a little bit better for you. I understand the feeling and believe me, you like, you're not alone when it comes to that. <laughs> Finished painting a bus. Oh, that's awesome. Do you have any photos or is it just fresh off the fresh off the bench, so to say? I definitely want to get taking photos soon. I have I'm like itching to take photos of things now that projects are wrapping up. All right, I'm going to double check this. Just make sure that we're kind of okay. Yep, this is the front. Oh yeah, feel free to post it. Yeah, no worries at all. I would love to see your work. I'll check it in just a second, given I'm about to glue this, so. I'm wondering. Well, it's a little late now. Okay, so I guess I guess another easy way to do this would be because I'm trying to minimize the skirt from shuffling around and it looks like there's that indent there so I'm gonna just put a little glue around her. Oh awesome, thank you. I'll check it in just a moment. Just gonna get this pushed through. Okay, so that's that and then this should just fit up in here, but it might take a little bit of work. You want to be careful here because any harsh movement can scratch paint. Okay. Oh, that felt like something. Okay, I remember there was a little bit of a gap. Um, on this side, but that was minimized by the um, sleeves coming together. So that should be okay, as far as I can tell. Let me tentatively put this, there we go, okay. Very cute. That would focus, that would be nice. Yeah, I do remember this gap, and I was like, why is that happening? Okay, I'm gonna take off this, ooh, for now, a little sticky. Not sticky with glue, just good fit, solid fit. All right, all right, let me check your link real quick. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, she is really pretty, I love it. Wow, I love the effect that you've done with her, um, like, I don't know what it is. 
like the spot cover in her nether regions. <laughs> the loincloth, is that how I'm saying it right? Yeah, that looks really nice with that highlight. And if you did that highlight on her tummy, that looks so nice. Wow, I love this. Her hair, I love how it transitions and gives that pop of blue too. What a beautiful piece. Honestly, if you wouldn't have like mentioned the 3D print thing, it like it's obvious, but not to a point where it like hurts the kit. Uh, because a lot of kits like this are printed 3D now. And so I think she came out really great. Very good sense of color you got going on there. Yeah. And I love the, the kind of transition and the tips of her horns, how they change color. It's That's a really nice um, side effect. Yeah, the print looks pretty solid overall. Like it looks, uh, looks pretty well cast. Did you have to do any sanding or anything on it? Or is it kind of just like ready to, ready to go? Oh yeah, of course. I know talent and calling out good paint jobs when I see it. <laughs> Yeah, that one came out really nice. Also, I love how it's like a woman of color. I've been wanting to paint more women of color for a long time, but all these anime kits are never like that. There's one or two I'm thinking of that I would really like to paint. Some really beautiful, luscious skin tones. Had a few rough spots in a lot of places where this supports these little scars. Oh man, yeah, that sucks. That's like ten, tens of half it with 3D printing, right? Even if it's like considered a good print, that stuff, you still have to clean it up. She looks like a, a pretty decent size too, now that I'm looking at it again. That looks like your finger. And so, yeah, I think that's a pretty good size. All right, let's test this. Nope, still gonna wait a little while. about 10 centimeters tall. Oh, okay, perfect size. <laughs> My favorite size. I always say 10 centimeters or less. That's like what I like to paint, so. <laughs> how much would that be too? I wonder how tall Marrow is when she's fully built too. Yeah, 10's pretty good. I would say Marrow is probably around 10 to, probably around 11 when she's fully built. Oh wait, nope. No, probably around 10. Yeah. All right. Gonna wait a little bit longer. Although it looks like we can probably just start moving on and getting this. You can see that the, it's getting pretty tacky. Doesn't take up too much space in the cabinet. Yes. <laughs> you understand exactly what I mean. That's uh, pretty much why I build these small kits too. I have a lot of things and I want a lot more to fit in it. And so these small kits definitely help in easing that burden. You can stuff a lot in. All right, putting a little bit more glue down on a new cardboard. Um, what would be the next good thing, I guess? Probably her leg. And we can start these sleeves as well. The sleeves were a little bit um, troublesome from what I remember. I did a test fit and there was a gap, a slight gap in one of the sides. I think it was this side over here. And so I was thinking glue would be able to fix that, but we'll have to see. I might have to hold this together until the glue dries. Once you get that glue dried, it's not a problem, but. Like there's a slight Did that go in right. Weird. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess that was it. Okay. There's a slight tiny scratch that just happened either here or some other time. So maybe I'll fix that while we have a moment too. Sometimes it happens if you're not careful. Let's see. Don't remember which one was Marrow Chan. many, many little cups that have enamel paint in them right now. 
Yep, it was this one. Okay. Okay, so let's get a little bit of this thinned out and just repair this really quick. If it's your own stuff, it's okay, but when it comes to like client works, you want to be really careful that you don't get anything scratched. wasn't super sealed anyway and it was on the glossy underside so it's fine there we go this is exactly why I don't get rid of my enamel paint mixtures until very end until a kit is out my door or on my shelf I don't wipe away the enamel mixtures in my cups because you always always need it <laughs> all right so I started this yeah okay this looks good Yep, that's good. Okay, so I think I forgot which one was the troublesome one. I think it was this one. I also forgot which, I think this went here. Let me grab another uh, glove real quick. holding these together. Maybe I'll put both clips on. Okay. Yeah, I recall, but yeah, it's just like that. So I'm gonna have to hold this, I think, together. Yep, okay. So thankfully this glue is already about halfway tacky, so I don't need to wait quite as long. as I can. The glue seat might come out a little bit, but hold. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. The front is the important part to me, so if there's a little bit of a uh, gap in the back, I'm fine. Although I'm gonna pull some of this out. One second. Oh, I need to grab my. Uh, grab this. Let's see. Do you not worry about gluing paint to paint? I usually scratch the paint back to resin plastic. I'm not sure what you mean by that comment. Do you not worry about gluing paint to paint? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand your comment, but I think it's just me. Oh, once I got that pin in there, that's it's pretty nice and uh, pretty nice and sturdy. It would help if you guys could see exactly what I'm doing. I don't know why it's wanting to focus on my uh, glue, let's see. Oh my God, camera, what are you doing? There we go. All right, so just gonna hold this for a while. I debated making the front like orange border of her outfit um, kind of shiny, but in the end I decided just kind of making those flowers in the front glossy, making those would be the, the point. Let's see, when you glue the arms on, you're gluing a painted surface to another painted surface. 
and at least with acrylic the bond isn't very strong so you mean the oh so the fact that it's painted is what's like the issue and you're not having as big of a like as strong of a bond because both of them uh no i don't think that i i really had that problem no at least not with lacquer paint i i might have had that happen with acrylic um and just kind of water-based acrylics but when you glue um the lacquer at least the pieces with lacquer together there's not really an issue of um like it peeling off so to speak yeah the 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 glue is pretty the bond is pretty strong another reason to go to lacquer if you're having trouble I can't ever recall that being a problem yeah same with enamel as well but then again like the only time I'm really using enamel these days is for details and um, like airbrushing stuff oh yeah no worries <laughs> I was just like I don't know what you're talking about you <laughs> should usually I know so it's all good that is a very valid question though that's interesting I wonder if other people have that issue too I might have to ask that in one of my discord groups also I just realized putting in the um, little frills might be a little annoying she's got these like side frill pieces and they may have had to fit in first shit yeah they might have had to fit in first let's see can i even pull this apart now uh oh okay we may have encountered a problem this one might be okay i don't remember even which way these went so let's see if we can oh i can pull it apart just slightly and then push it in <laughs> tricky got him this is a temporary solution, but it's actually pretty sturdy. So I don't, and I don't know if that was the right one. Is this the right one for this? Oh, it is. Good, I guessed correctly. So that was a complete chance. This one's a nice bright color scheme. She's got, it's pretty simple overall but it's got a nice variety of colors in it. I think this is pretty good at this point so we can set this down. It's not gonna separate anymore because the glue is pretty hard. So here's the glue. So let's throw that glue away and let's get the other side glued in. This time I'm remembering that I need to put this frill in. Yeah, it's been a, quite a while, I feel like I've painted green. Um, I love painting green. Green is one of my favorite colors, but I don't have too many opportunities to do it. I usually end up painting pink if I want to like do something of my own. So I, part of the reason I like the Marichon kits and the Suchan and all of that was because the, the green color scheme was really nice. And this is like bright spring green, which I don't know if I've ever painted looking through my list of finished builds and yeah, I don't really see anything right away. Indicative of that. And I do want to note the colors are a little different in real life versus um, what you're seeing on the screen here. So in real life, the colors are a bit softer and a bit more, I don't know how to put it, more like yellow green or like olivey. They look pretty bright on this um, camera. So just kind of FYI. When I do the final photo shoot, I'll try to get the colors as representative as possible, but it's what happens with photo editing and, you know, all of that good stuff. Okay. I wonder if it would be best to do the same thing as before then. Probably not. Probably just put a tiny bit of glue here. Try to Try to get this on beforehand. I don't know why I put it there and not where it's supposed to go, but that might help. Okay, so this is the, where did that go? There we go. This piece, whew, 
I did not have as much trouble with the uh, fit, but the back, you want to make sure that it fits in. So there we go. Oh, this one I might have to hold too. Let's see. Yes, kitten. Not too much left after this. So after we get the um, sleeves on, she just has her head to put on, the little bird to put on her head, and then finally the base. And that's it. This is a very nice and simple kit. Um, very good for beginners, all things considered. You know, there's not too many things to glue. The pieces are, they fit in together pretty straightforwardly. Um, not too many colors, you know, you can even eliminate some of the colors here if you were um, not feeling it, like the yellow on the front here. You don't necessarily have to do that. We were just following what Marrow did, or <laughs> what Marrow did, what Whoopie Pie did. Before I go too much into the recap, I guess, or we can just talk about it now. Um, I did, you know, the stream was a little bit longer, all things considered, because I purchased this kit directly from the circle and Whoopie Pie herself at Wonder Festival. Um, I did not order this kit from Booth. This kit is available on Booth. Um, if you check, um, and go on Booth and Whoopie Pie, or if you check one of my YouTube videos, I have it linked there. Um, but you can buy this kit. It's available online. All you need is a proxy or a forwarder, and it makes a great, you know, experience. I've heard that the cast from Booth is really nice and um, pretty easy to put together. So if you are choosing to build this kit based on these streams, or if you're looking at these streams, uh, rest assured that your experience will probably be a little quicker and uh, nicer than mine because we had a lot of issues to fiddle in with the cast so just things I want people to be aware of because otherwise it kind of skews the perception of this uh, figure a bit we also did take some extra time you know quite a few hours actually in hand painting the face that is not necessary with this kit because it does come with those decals so there are many ways that you can speed up this uh, process and still get a really nice looking figure The decals are very cute from what I've seen. And I have them right here. Excuse me. All right. A little bit longer, I think. shiny kind of shiny I'm not used to clothing this shiny this was a kind of a new thing that I tried to do too all right I think let's set it down still a little bit tacky so I'm gonna keep an eye on it yeah I think I think we'll be good it's not really moving beyond this Give the rotation some nice shading visible throughout. The inside is still kind of glossy depending on um, the surface that you look at because we chose to keep the inside gloss. Okay, so the last steps here are putting the figure on the base and then putting the head on. And I think what I'm going to do is the base first, um, the head. I don't want any last mishaps where it just kind of falls off or anything happens. So, and also it'll be a little heavier. And so I want to make sure that um, we have that good solid support for the head first before we put it on. So let's add on, I'm going to take the base, temporary base, I guess. And again, don't need too much glue here 
because this is a very small base. And I am keeping the size of this pen. So we're just gonna push the base through and put it on her foot and then directly like push the figure into the base. And we can adjust the brass pin as we do that. Sometimes this works, depends on the kit that you're working with, honestly. This is a very small amount of glue as well that's needed. Let's see. There we go. So you can see it has this little peg for or area for her foot. Which we're just gonna put a little bit of glue in. I think this might seep out a little bit, but that's okay. And before I put that on, let's make sure my hands are okay. And then just push and sit down. Yeah, she's got a little bit of seepage. Let's see if we can wipe out some of that, but I don't think it will be too visible. Let's see, does she even stand up with that tiny base or expect it to add another more stable base? Definitely do not expect this kit to stand with this. I can tell you that with 100% certainty. Um, I'm planning, right now we're just gonna put her on this wood plank or this wood base and uh, you know get her stable. But then after that I'm planning to put an acrylic base of some kind or something similar. It's gotta be at least half a centimeter thick I would say. Let's see get this in there we go so like that you can see the leaning as I kind of I have her sideways here so she's already pretty stable you know there's no toppling going on here let's see it's gonna be a little hard I might have to zoom out a bit there we go so you can see she's kind of like leaning and that's all adjustable with the brass wire so we have no issue with that i kind of just use this to put it like in the middle so um you know you guys have an idea of how much space she takes up too i don't recall how big this circular base is i don't want to turn it over but let's see this would be a 10 centimeter um diameter base so I don't know in inches what that would be. I usually work in centimeters. So that 10 centimeter is pretty good actually. I think you could do more or less depending on um, how much space you wanted to give her. Like this is already pretty cute though. So I don't know. Oh, something going on there. Let's see if I can just clean this up real quick. I've been like moving it around, so that's probably why. But yeah, for this kit, I would absolutely recommend um, giving her an additional base. I don't even, I don't think she'll stand without additional support. And every one that I have seen has put her, well, you can't really see it on here because we'll be like edited out, but there's an acrylic plate under here. Um, so that's a really fast and easy way. I was also thinking that um, maybe some sort of like soccer pedal or something could be really cute to put her on. So that could work. There's a lot of opportunities here for um, additional things you can do. And I guess just temporarily I can put the head on to make sure it all works, but let's see. The moment of truth. There was also some possible glue in here. Oh, you know, I might have might have glued that whole shut. <laughs> let's see, real quick. Where are you at? One second, let me see if I can get. Yeah, what? oh there we go, I think. Hmm, this could be problematic. What happened here? Oh, there we go, maybe. Basically, when I glued these two together, um, glue kind of seeped out and went into the hole that her head was supposed to go in. Oh, you can really see the leaning from here. 
Oh wait, was that it? I can't tell. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think that was her head. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I'm not like fussed or anything. Believe me, there's been worse just stuff that can happen. So I'm glad it's happening on camera so you guys can see it too. I might be drilling a new hole, honestly. I don't even know at this point, <sighs> but that's fine. There we go. As long as it goes in, I don't really care. Okay. So let's just check real quick. have to lift her up off the base too. Could be a pain. Let's see. Oh no, that, that worked. It's a little off. Let's see. Oh yeah, something's going on here. But that's the hole. So maybe like this. Hmm. I don't know if I want to mess with it. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I need to just drill a little more. Could be the glue. Last minute drilling. Okay. Good thing we did all this before mixing the glue and sticking it in. I don't know why it's like having trouble. Hmm. Also doesn't help that my drill is not going in. Oh, that seems better. Okay, one second. Issues always happens at the end. Oh, there we go. Ish. Hmm. Weird. Okay. So what's gonna happen? Let's check on this. Should be okay. So I'm gonna wiggle this out if I can. There's a little bit of tension that happened, and I think some of her shoe might have rubbed off, but that's fine. We'll mess with this later, but I also just want to make sure that this fits okay still, because it totally did when I... Oh yeah, what's going on? It fits fine when I put it here. Maybe I'll just glue it then. Yeah, like that. See, she fits fine. So, that will load. There we go. There's the cutie. Almost. So the head does fit, just needs a little bit of uh, some work. Put this back here. And again, trying to get this to fit back in here temporarily. There we go. Okay, so maybe I should just glue the head in while it's like this. Yeah. Get some new glue. check always good to double triple whatever check yep very cute I remember it wasn't too tight of a fit anyway mostly because we don't have that room thanks to the shoulders so that actually might be it too there might be some uh, wires that are hitting in there somehow that's fine We'll get this head on and then I'll try to stick it back in the base. Okay. Might 
be a little bit more wiping off I have to do. So we've been handling this quite a bit tonight. Oops, that was a lot of glue. Let's see. There we go. Okay, throw that away. Don't want to mess with that. No glue on my hands. Good. Mostly good. Okay. And there goes that one. Okay. I've had this problem before too. This might be troublesome. I might have to adjust those later. That's fine. Goodness. Okay. Let's see. It's too much glue. Oh yeah, this kind of just slides in and out. There we go. Let's position this and make sure it's how we want it because it's just kind of shuffling. And these are just gonna pop out. So I think I'll have to do that later. Yeah, this is an odd, odd case. I think this would be probably the most complicated part if you're trying to like finalize it and get this head in because there really isn't too much space between the, um, like frills and the sleeves and everything. There we go. So we'll hold this for a while. And then after that, I'll work on fitting that sleeve or the frill back in. Making sure this is the right position that I want because that's how it's gonna be, so. Yeah, let's hold it. Hey, how you doing, Seacrease? Thanks for dropping by. We are just about to wrap up. Not too much left. I think just getting this up and then um, putting her kind of side frilly pieces on her shoulders back in, and then gluing that tiny bird on top, and that should be it for tonight. But I want to make sure that this head goes where I want it, so double checking this it looks like her mouth it actually looks like she could turn her head just a little but I kind of like it like this so yeah I'm glad you can make it it's always good to see a friendly face or at least read read a friendly face read a friendly username weird yeah this is a really not super tight connection that was one of my main problems with this kit I guess if I had to say it there's just not that much of a neck joint I've had many kits with better neck joints than this and it's a relatively weak point of connection so um, if you knocked the kit over for whatever reason I feel like the the head would be one of the first areas to go hairs here and there. Can I even get this in at this point? I don't know. Might be a little tough. Might have to wait till this is more dried. Either way, I really love how her face came out. I feel like that's definitely the highlight of this kit. So there's not a lot of detail, all things considered. Um, she's got these nice, you know, sleeves and some of it's kind of detailed, but overall most of the focus is on the face. Let's see if I can. Tough, 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 tough. I don't want to scratch this. Oh my goodness, yeah, I might have scratched the paint a tiny bit. This piece was a pain in the ass to put on even when I was test fitting it, so I'm not surprised we're having issues now. 
Let's see. There we go. And that was set back up. And that falls out. Okay, that wasn't glued at all though. That was just kind of sitting there, so. Still kind of tacky, so I'm gonna hold it a bit longer. Let's see. Do you have a new project lined up or are you concentrating on university work for a bit? Good question. Kind of leading into where we are gonna go with this. Um, this will be the last set of streams for a while because I do need to focus on my university work. Um, I need to finish wrapping up some other projects and um, just overall feeling like there's a couple things I would rather work on in private. And so I do have a couple of projects lined up, um, but they're mostly like if I end up getting to them, that's great. If not, that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> so um, yes and no. <laughs> in short, I guess. Let's see if I can wait this while we're waiting. I think I had showed it before on a stream or two, but I still have that tiny Miku kit that I need to put together. Um, surprisingly ended up being like a little more work than I thought. I assumed she would be like a really simple build, but then I ran into a bunch of issues with her hair and like the hair pieces fitting. And so, and I also had an idea and I had to like wait for that idea to come together. So we'll see if that one happens next. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know I'm a little sad to stop as well, um, but it's just like something that I need a break and I need to focus on stuff, um, especially because I have my other job and work's picking up for that. So this is like a matter of trying to find time and not having it. Um, but my plan, if all goes well, is we'll return to streaming in the summer. And so I'll make sure to, you know, keep you guys updated on that frontier and of course I'll post it on Twitter and Instagram and all of that when I return to streaming. Right now it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when I think. Yeah. So unfortunately, you know, it's been fun. It's been about a year I think. I started in like March or um, even April of last year and so we've, we've done quite a bit in that time. We've built three kits, we built a whole dollhouse miniature. It's been really fun being able to share my techniques with everybody and um, get this stuff together. So hoping to keep up the good stuff later this year, that's for sure. All right, so we've got Mero pretty much locked down. Um, her head isn't moving quite as much. She's still missing that frill here, but I'm gonna glue it very shortly. So here she is like that. So the only thing left now is just gonna put her on the, the temporary base real quick. And I'm gonna glue the bird directly on her head. It's basically just a magnet. But I, I need a stable surface um, for this to happen. Weird, why is it not focusing on her? There we go. So you'll see the top of her head and the bird go on and then putting this on, but let's see. There we go. If there's any kits that you guys really particularly wanted, I guess that you wouldn't know my collection anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> a lot of them are really just cute, cutesy original characters, so. But I do have a couple of um, licensed ones that I wanna get out of the way too. So perhaps when I return this summer, um, I'll be able to um, build a something, something that some people maybe know, <laughs> not these originals. Pretty much everything we've built has been kind of like an original character. So the appeal is like not really there for people to watch, I guess. Okay, where did I put that? Oh my gosh, where did I put that little frill? I just had it. Is it on here? Huh? Oh, that's on the ground. <laughs> what? what? Let's see, I love to see you build and paint a munchkin kit at some point. Oh boy, munchkin. <laughs> Yeah, I too would like to see myself build a munchkin kit, given I have so many of them in my inventory and nothing showing. OG kits are always fun. Yeah, I like them too, so that's like why I keep doing them. Um, 
Plus you can just do whatever colors you want, you know? Okay, I'm gonna try to fit this in and up. Tweezers would probably work better here, but I have them in the other room, so. Let's, there we go. Okay, so I put some glue on the ends of her little frill there. Okie doke, so that, and the bird is the last thing. So, here is the little bird, again. There he is, whoa. Pretty funny. Just need a tiny glue dot on, on this one, because it is a magnet. This is a very fragile piece as well. So kind of why I saved it for last. Okay, that might be too much, but we'll, yeah, let me wipe off a little bit. There we go. Okay, there we go. Position him. Oh my God. Very cute. I'll show you guys in just a moment. Just gonna do some really final, final wipe ups. Let's see, if you ever want to sell City of Cats, let me know. <laughs> Not looking for it, but if I do, I'll let you know. I, oh my gosh, I said City of Cats and Rocket just looked up at me. He's like, what? <laughs> yeah, that one is a beauty. I thought he said he would resell it too, but I haven't seen it happening, so I don't know. Well, leading, I'm not seeing. I must have put this on, I think just uh, the way that I put this um, pin in already kind of solves that. Oh, I guess I can see how she kind of leans from the, it doesn't look like it from the top, but from the side, she definitely leans to the side. That's just how this kit is designed, I think. There's some very smart marketing in terms of making her straight. I might have to bend the pin, but for now it looks like she's just gonna lean. Okay, so I'm just wiping off some of the, the minor things here on the bottom. There was a little tiny bit of paint scratching that happened when we were messing around with everything, but that's easily fixable. So we'll just wait just a bit longer and then that way I can turn her to the camera. Build up that tension, dramatic tension of the final reveal. All in all, this was a pretty quick assembly um, to get this whole thing assembled in like an hour and a half or even less than that. That's pretty good. Very cute, very tilted. Yeah, what are you doing, Mero? Don't know. I'm gonna keep an eye on this tape or this um, glue here. Once I feel like it's good, then I'll tilt her back and we'll do the the final reveal. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe it. I can't believe she's sitting here right in front of me. Pretty much done. I always wait to put like the paperwork. I call it the paperwork into the, my closet too. Cause she's got you know the whole bag and everything that she came with but i think now i can finally put it in my closet in the storage to me that's like my signal that i finished it and so very happy the eyes i think are what make this kit i think i've said that like three times already but i, I really do mean it Uh, I'll put my pliers away now. Almost there. Not there yet, you can see. It's still pretty gooey, not totally hard yet, so almost. Did a fantastic job at painting the eyes. Thank you. Yeah, the eyes are always where I feel like I gotta go all out. So I was very tempted to use the decals for this kit um, because they are very cute decals, but 
ultimately I felt like they didn't suit her face quite as well. She's got these huge eye sockets. Um, and from everything I've seen of like people's builds who have put the decals on, they just seemed a little bit too small to me. I think that maybe when Whippy Pie printed them, they were just a tiny bit, the size may have been a tiny bit too small. Um, so what people could potentially do is scan in the eye decals if you have a scanner and then print them out again on water slide decal paper, um, just slightly larger and then maybe that would work better but that seems like a lot of effort. But then again, painting the eyes is a lot more effort than even doing that. So it's kind of up to whatever you feel like doing. Um, by no means are the decals that it comes with bad at all. They're very cute. Um, but every time I paint a kit, I just end up painting the eyes. It's just what happens. So it's just how it'd be. Also, I realized I forgot to put a tiny bit of eye shine on the bird's eyes. I was completely remembering Marochon, but then I forgot about the bird. So um, the actual, the actual Mejiro bird on her head. So I'll do that after the stream and finish up any touch-ups before the photo shoot. I think we're pretty much good now. Yeah, it, you can see over the course of like two minutes, it's a lot harder and tackier to work with now. So that's a sign that you can start manipulating. So here she is, assuming this little frill doesn't fall off. Yay, Mero! Fully built! Can't believe it! She's kind of like shuffling because she's not on a permanent base yet, but let's zoom out a little bit. Here she is. I guess I can give her a, a brief turnaround. So here's the, the fully built cut. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. So you can see the nice shadings on the back and kind of all throughout. Now it's too, Ooh, shake. my hand's a little shaky. There we go. Nice turn. There she is, yay. Yep, here's the up close. So, very vibrant, very cute. Love her, don't know what else to say. <laughs> I think that's that. Oh yeah, there was one other thing I wanted to do, um, which was, oh, there goes her little, <laughs> there was one more thing I wanted to do, but I don't think it's going to be, we'll be able to do it on this base. Yeah, thank you, Rebel Star. This, I haven't actually glued this in yet. That was that one piece that um, we just kind of like shoved in there. So I'll do that after this, this stream as well. Um, wow, yeah, very cute. Thanks, guys. But yeah, what was that one more thing we wanted to do? I don't know if it will be visible here. It might be a little too small of an area, but the whole point of this, and if you were around during my earlier, very beginning streams and before, is we had this dollhouse that she was supposed to fit in. And so the whole thing is like, I built this dollhouse over a bunch of hours. And after that, we were gonna build Marochan and put her in the dollhouse. And I'm gonna ship the whole thing away to my mom. So I don't know, I don't think that this base is small enough to accommodate her. So uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is kind of get this base off and just kind of not put her in here permanently, but give you guys an idea of what she'll look like in it. So let's see if I can hold this. So there we go. Hopefully, let's see if we can zoom in. I don't know what my camera's doing. Camera, oh, there we go. Give you an idea of what it will look like. Yeah. Let's see if I can zoom out a little. I think that might be the max. <laughs> there we go. So she'll sit in here, kind of like that. And you know, you can turn her and she'll be in the dollhouse, yeah. It's a little hard to angle. I don't want to drop her and have her just like fall into this, but that's kind of the plan. And I think I'll take some photos of her um, in the dollhouse as well if I'm able to get the shots. Thanks guys. <laughs> yeah, I think that this is really cute. I think it the scale is perfect for her. So if you're looking for like SD, um, you know, kits to fit inside of these, whoops, as this falls off too. Clearly, you know, this has got some work to be done, but <laughs> if you're looking for like a nice, 
um, scale for it to fit. Those dollhouses fit Nendo's really well. They fit chibi kits really well. And so um, highly recommend it. I actually just purchased a new kind of not quite as elaborate dollhouse as that, but a really tiny mini one. And I'm hoping a chibi will fit in it. So that's like my newest thing is trying to make sure that chibis fit and things because I am not that creative with bases. So um, yeah, that's kind of the plan moving forward. Photos will probably be a while out. Thanks guys for your enthusiasm. <laughs> as soon as I finish up my commission and all the Galway posts, um, then, you know, I'll dig straight into Marochan and, and get all that going. Hoping to get that to be like a spring, a spring kit that we post. But I think that's it. That ended up, you know, taking up most of the time and a good amount of time. Um, but once again, I'd like to really thank everybody who took the time to see these streams, even if you dropped in at some point of the process, if you viewed the VOD, etc. Um, it's been a really informative experience for me and hopefully for you. And I'm very much looking forward to continuing streaming, uh, but it will be a few months before I continue. Just need to get some stuff off of my plate um, and be able to focus on my other projects and work currently. So I'll show her up close again. I'm always available through my Instagram, through my Twitch, or not Twitch, sorry, <laughs> um, Twitter. And I think Facebook sometimes, but you know, if you ever have any questions about the hobby or want to just chat about kit related things, shoot me a message. I'm happy to talk to you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Rebel Star. Thank you, Sea Crease. Thank you, everybody who's lurking and watching. Um, your support has always meant a lot to me, and I hope that I will have it once we return streaming as well. And that, I think I'm going to clock off tonight and show her off one last time up close because she's so cute. There we go. Marochan says thank you for watching. I hope you guys all have a really great night and a good spring, and I hope to talk to you soon. All right, everyone. Have a good one. Bye-bye.